Hey everybody, my name is Tisha and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog for The Troop by Nick Cutter. So I know I look crusty and dusty. You need to be trying to get an education because your looks ain't going to get you paid. Because you're not that cute. And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. This is going to be in like all my vlogs because most of the days I don't get ready, you know. Um... So, I am super scared for this vlog of reading the troop. Um, this is going to be a buddy read with Marcy from Marcy Reads, Gwen from Gwendolyn Kensinger, and Allie from Mrs. Dunn Reads. Allie was reading this and she's never read a horror and this is like one that a lot of people were saying, read this because she, if she's going to read a horror she wants to be scared. And then we all haven't read this and we're all scared to read it so we were like let's, let's just read it. So we have it divided up for four days. Um, so this isn't gonna take me that long, but I'm scared. I've also never vlogged for like one book before, so I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I don't know how interesting it's gonna be, but I'm probably just gonna throw it up on YouTube anyways. I didn't just sit back and think like, all right, I'm, I'm done guys, like who gives a shit? No. So all I know about the troop is that this follows a group of like Boy Scouts kind of and they go to this island off the coast of Canada and there's like this man that like comes out and like he's like super hungry and like acting weird and like eating dirt and stuff and then he starts like spreading something to them and I know that this has to do with like a lot of body horror of worms and people and like things like that which is like the worst to me because I hate bugs, I hate insects, hate all of it. Hey boo guess what I hate you, I wanna hit you with a bus. Um, I know this also does have a lot of animal cruelty in it, so that's why we're also kind of scared, but everybody that's read this has given it five stars that I know of. Um, the first person I saw read this was probably a year and a half to two years ago was Natasha from My Reading is Odd. She read it for a readathon, I'm pretty sure. Um, she gave it five stars. I know for a fact that Gabby from Gabby Reads read this and gave it five stars. McKay from McKay's book club gave this five stars and he's actually in our group chat to see our reactions and everything. So um, like the first section is to page 93. We round it up to the nearest chapter. So this is not the only book that I'm going to be reading. I have some other books, some other buddy reads and things like that. I'm definitely trying to finish one of my other books today. I also have to edit a video or start editing it. I already started last night and I normally like to post on Mondays but I think I'm going to post it on Tuesday because it's my July wrap up but like I literally have like 40 something minutes of footage. So <laughs> um like almost 50 minutes of footage and I hate editing really really long things I also rearranged my shelves yesterday and I'm so happy with them but yeah so I am going to start reading the troop I don't know how long it's gonna take I also know this is mixed media of like I know there's flashbacks first of all then there's also like um this is the first page it's like news articles um and I know that the audiobook is on script, I'm pretty sure. My favorite way to read is listening along with the audiobook while physically reading. So I'm probably going to do that. So that is on script. They also have the ebook on script. So you might want to check that out if you're interested. So yeah, I'm going to read The Troop. I want to finish off an arc that I need to review. And I'm doing a buddy read of such a fun age. So that's what I have to do today. So hopefully this lighting isn't too bad. I don't think it's that bad. It is technically not the same day, but for me it is in my mind. It's 1.21 a.m. technically on August 10th, and I just finished the section for Sunday. It's technically Monday, but until I go to sleep, it is not the next day yet. I read a good chunk of this because the group that I'm in, Brains and Books, we went on a Zoom, but we only had two sprints, so like we were on there for like over three hours, and we only read for 40 minutes, so I didn't get as much of this done earlier like I wanted to but I did eventually get it done so our first section was the first 93 pages or the first 13 chapters and um I kind of agree with Allie because we're sending voice recordings Allie's the only one that sent one besides me so far and I agree with her like I don't I'm not scared 
yet i'm really curious as to like what's going on and like what is causing this man to be infected and like how is it transmitted so far basically what's happened i feel like i'm just spewing stuff and like i haven't even explained what happened so it won't make sense if you haven't read it like the main like leader guy of the troop his name is tim at the very beginning of the book it's nighttime and he goes out and like sees this man coming in on a boat and is like he's like i'm hungry like feed me he's like super thin like like barely able to be alive then and so he like takes him in and is like you can't like be in here um but i'll let you be in here but you have to follow what i say and then he gets into like a tussle kind of with him and then he coughs like the guy um that's like hungry or whatever coughs like this stuff up onto tim like in his face um so he wipes it off this guy gets knocked out and then we get to see more of like the actual like boy scout kind of characters because they go on this little adventure so we have newt who's like really bullied Ephraim, i think is how you say his name who is um he has a lot of like anger issues and like mental health issues his best friend's max and max is really good with like I don't know i just feel like he's a handyman you know max is like a handyman um then we have kent who's like a big bully and shelly shelly is mikay's favorite character but i feel like we haven't had that much of shelly yet so there's this part that i marked because uh, i've been marking it up um about shelly and it says shelly was something of a sensationalist he relishes touch pressure how would it feel physically to take the creature apart would its pincher snap at his fingers as he pulled would its stupid crustacean anatomy fight its own dismemberment that wonderful tension as he pulled each limb off the sucking pip as this or that part detached from the hole the crayfish could fight yes and dimly shelly sort of hoped it would but it wouldn't matter he wouldn't he wasn't scared of being bitten or clawed plus he was so much bigger as usual with, with shelly if he wanted to do something and if nobody was watching he simply did and he liked as he liked he pinched one of the crayfish's comical little eyes it ruptured with a mildly satisfying pop the texture was grainy a tiny ball of honeycomb candy coming apart the remnants were stuck on his fingers like the shards of a very small and dark christmas tree ornament so like that was kind of long but i'm just like that's kind of psychotic but i'm just saying like that's like low-key psychotic as hell he's like really thinking about dismembering this whole thing and i'm like okay So that's like the second instance of animal cruelty so far and it hasn't really bothered me because it's like crustaceans and stuff which like i don't really care about like crustaceans or fish but i know for a fact that eventually there's going to be like a scene with a sea turtle um which i know is probably going to trigger me because i'm like super attached to sea turtles so tim actually by this point it's like the next day and he lost like 20 pounds and he assumed it's from like him like that guy hacking up that stuff on him so tim as i said is a doctor and so him and max go to perform surgery because he thinks that he's having like gastrointestinal issues and that's like what's making him sick because he looks like he literally like his whole body's so like skinny like he has no muscle no cartilage no fat nothing but he has like a big kind of like volleyball like shape in his stomach and so he thinks that he's having some sort of gastrointestinal issues so then he performs surgery and like this worm thing just like comes out of nowhere they fight the worm thingy for a while like they cut it for a bit um it starts hacking up stuff max covers his face because tim tells him to so he doesn't get any of the stuff like in his face on his mouth and his eyes or like any like orifice i guess and the like rest of the worm goes back did it in like a separate room than like the main cabin so that's what's happened so far as i said i'm curious on how like this is transmitted is it transmitted from like this goo stuff we can already see that tim is starting to be like i'm hungry and he's having two battling like thoughts in his head like two different voices so i wonder if that is something that he always had or if that's something that's coming with him being infected so yeah i am going to go to bed now because it's 1 30 and I have work tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I make more progress in this and I have more thoughts.
so I'm sitting on the floor. Um, I was going to update you guys earlier because I did finish the section for the troop today earlier, but I edited my video that's coming up tomorrow. That is my July wrap up, which is 33 minutes long, and it took me probably total like four hours to edit, and I had to make my thumbnail, do my description, everything. So, I'm coming out to you guys at like 11.30 p.m. So, as you guys saw in the clip, I went outside and I read and, and I was covered by like a canopy so I could like sit outside in the rain because it wasn't that hot. It hasn't been that hot lately, so I've been able to read outside. And so, now I'm on page, what is this, 178 at, so we've read through chapter 24. And basically, it's a lot of character development that's going on right now, but the um what is it called like the leader of the boy scouts like the guy tim he died kaput he's gone okay so he's dead sachet away thank you and then one of the kids kent the one that i don't like he got infected and then they start seeing things like boats coming and like blocking them blocking other things so there's like military boats basically blocking other boats from going onto the island and like they're basically quarantining these kids on the island the island the kids are like how are we supposed to get off like we can't we learn more about how this worm was actually created um or like this parasite this disease which i didn't know that was going to be in here and i really like it because it is mixed media but i thought the mixed media was just going to be like um like the first one is like a headline like a news article but there are like transcripts and things like that of asking the scientists like what happened like why was this created so like it was basically created as like a diet pill basically so like people could take it and he, one of the doctors was trying to genetically modify it so if it tried to go anywhere else in your body besides like your stomach area like your intestines that kind of area basically like it would die but the more that they modified it, the more that it like resisted and would adapt and get extra like gills or something like that. And so we do see some animal cruelty and like testing on animals. It didn't trigger me, but Gwen said she really didn't like it. Um, to be honest, I didn't know they were even testing on an animal. I thought it was like a little girl. I don't know why I'm more okay with thinking it was a little girl than a chimp, but. And so I am really liking it. The writing is still very descriptive, um, which I'm liking. Gwen said she thinks it's a little bit much for her, but I like it. Um, I'm not too attached to any of the characters. Everybody says that they like Shelly, but he's literally a psychopath. I do like Max a lot. I think Max is like a sweetheart. And the rest of them are kind of like all have their little issues. So I'm liking Max and I'm just really liking the formatting and the writing. There are like some more tabs that I put in here of like gross sections. But yeah, there's really not that much to update on. Not too much has happened. But yeah, that's all I have to update you guys on. And I will talk to you guys more tomorrow. Multiplying, I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on high. So it is actually Wednesday, August 12th, which is the last day of our buddy read. And I didn't update you guys yesterday. I don't know. I read the section that we were supposed to read. I just didn't really feel like updating. I have not read the section for today yet. I will probably just read that and then get my final thoughts and everything in the morning because I don't want to be having this crusty lighting. So um, I just thought that I could just update you guys on what I read yesterday, today. And so yesterday was a bit rough because there was a lot of animal cruelty in it the character shelly he is basically basically confirmed to be a psychopath like it's not like confirmed confirmed but like basically he doesn't really feel emotions like the same way that other people do he has a lot of symptoms of being a psychopath i know that's like not really the technical terminology used technically he would have antisocial personality disorder but 
nobody really knows that so i just said psychopath throughout like the whole beginning of the book we see tortures bugs and like kills bugs and like things like that but then in this he had a flashback to like the first time that he like killed something like a big animal was his mom's cat and she was out and he drowned the cat and then burned the cat um so that was pretty graphic i know for me that didn't bother me as much just because like i know so much about serial killers that it doesn't really bother me as much because I've heard of serial killers doing that all the time. But then one of the other scenes um, was with Max and Newt. And they, well Max mostly stabbed a turtle to death and then it bled out slowly. And they obviously did that because they thought that's what they needed to do for survival. But that one triggered me more just because I'm more attached to sea turtles. I've never heard of anything like that. And the fact that it took so long and then it bled out and then that was just i didn't like that um i know what gwen's saying because gwen was saying how the cat scene was worse for her because that was not necessary for survival i know that i've heard that drowning is peaceful i don't know i think that they're both quite rough they weren't super bad for me or anything like that which i didn't expect i thought that it would be a lot worse but i am very good at like dissociating from situations that's why i can read horror like a lot of my friends from the brains and books they are like how do you read horror with like a straight face and i think i just it just doesn't bother me because i'm easily able to dissociate from it like my emotions like it just doesn't bother me i may get grossed out but i don't really get scared like that only from true crime because that's real so it's harder for me to like dissociate from it kent is still infected and he was actually killed by Shelly. Shelly's like, oh, this is one big game. Like, I can kill everybody. So that's very playing into, like, his psychopath type personality. And, um, Kent is basically, like, dying and he's going to attack Shelly. So Shelly kills him and then he kills him in the water. And then he says, like, thousands, hundreds of thousands of, like, these little worm things, like, come out of his head and, like, they go all in, like, his body, in Shelly's body. And so I'm pretty sure Shelly's infected. We also found out that one, there's like one survivor. So I'm excited to see who that is. I think, I hope it's Max because Max is my favorite. But I could also see Newt being a good contender. I also forgot to say Ephraim or whatever. He's best friends with Max and he has like the anger issues. He, for some reason, thought that he had like worms in him. Probably from some sort of psychological damage and trauma from seeing like his scoutmaster dead and like just the whole situation I could see being very traumatic especially since they're now on their own they're not getting their proper like food and water and things like that so he was probably having just a delusion that he had these worms in him and he basically carved up his whole body like um and then where I left off was when Max and Newt came back from the sea turtle incident and discovered him cut up like that so He's alive still and he's talking, but he has like a lot of wounds. So I'm assuming that he's not going to survive. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a delusion because Max and Newt both said like, boy, you look fine. Like you're not losing any weight. Like there was nothing, none of like the physical symptoms that people show that they've seen so far with the worms he has. So they're like, boy, you don't have worms. And so I'm assuming it was just a delusion. But now that he's carved up, he's probably going to get an infection or the worms can easily like crawl into those wounds. So I don't think he's gonna survive so it's either max or new i believe and we learned more about it being a diet pill and how like more like the science aspect of it we also learned that a lot of the parents tried to go to the island to get their kids back but they were stopped by like the military and the police because it was like an official quarantine of like an unknown disease or parasite so they basically quarantined the whole island and nobody could get on or off so that was interesting to see that like these parents were weren't just like oh whatever like they were actually thinking people were actively trying to get to their kids but yeah that's all i wanted to update you guys on and i will talk to you guys tomorrow when i finish the book so it's actually been a couple days since i finished the troop because my thoughts were kind of all over the place and i wanted to sit on them before i gave you guys like my final thoughts and everything so basically in the last section what happened was max and newt were, went off and left Ephraim who they found like all cut up and um Shelly found him and was talking to him and obviously I mentioned like in the last thing like 
Ephraim was kind of being delusional and he was asking Shelly like please help me get it out and obviously Shelly is like messed up in the head so he was like yes I'll help you because he wanted to hurt him and kill him and so he was even making him say please and everything and as I said Ephraim was like delusional so he was like yes like please get the worm out you're the only one that understands. Shelly basically convinced Ephraim to burn himself. So Ephraim poured gasoline all over himself and then Shelly lit him on fire and Ephraim died. Shelly went off basically because he got into a little altercation with Max and Newt when they came back and found Ephraim literally on fire. So they got into a little altercation but then he left and he was the only one out of everybody that was infected that we saw their thoughts kind of he was the only one that was like oh my gosh i need to protect my babies like i'm such a good dad like he thought of these worms as like his babies he wanted the other guys to get infected too because he thought that they would all be good dads to these babies so max and newt wanted to get off the island obviously and so they went back to the boat that the man like the mysterious man in the beginning came from and it didn't have spark plugs and that's why it didn't work but max helped their scout master basically perform surgery in the very beginning to try and like help save the guy and he saw something like shiny in there and he realized it was probably the spark plugs so they went got the spark plugs and washed them off and were leaving them to dry and Shelly went and stole them and he went to like this cave thing and Shelly was not right like he was all like I don't even know he was like, basically a monster at that point like he wasn't even Shelly um and so they went to get it and Newt got infected because of that. So they get the spark plugs and the Shelly monster thing dies, but Newt gets infected from this altercation. And so then eventually they get off the island. So they're out in the middle of the ocean still, um, or like whatever body of water. And he says like when he, when they get to like the military boats, they put their hands up, but Newt says he's hungry because obviously he's infected. And so then he gets shot and dies like right in front of him because that's like one of their trigger words and i don't know if i mentioned this but we also find out that the diet pill was kind of like a cover for actually making the worms into a biological weapon so max is the survivor which is what i hoped because max is like a sweet character but he is obviously really messed up from this because who wouldn't be so he gets tested over and over and over and they find out that he's like not infected or so they think that he's not infected because like nothing shows up and he's like probably i'm assuming in the last like epilogue kind of thing he is not infected for like a month or two something like that but obviously he's really messed up and so he takes his uncle's boat out at the very end and goes to the island and he says that he has like a hunger within him and so it's like is he actually infected or is it just his trauma of losing his friends um and his scout master in a very gruesome brutal way and so that's how it ended so it's kind of like a loose ending it's not all tied up in a bow which i really really liked and so i decided to give this book four stars i know gwen gave it three stars i don't know what Allie gave it because she's obviously she just started school so she probably hasn't had much time and i don't think she's finished this yet this is not my favorite book but i think that it did a lot of things really well and I don't know like I feel like if you are very experienced in horror you're not gonna like this as much because it does play off a lot of horror tropes and it isn't necessarily super scary it's more like gross than anything and this wasn't as gross as I wanted it to be and I did really like what like Shelly's plotline like if this book did not have Shelly in it then it wouldn't be what it is like it really definitely would not be as good because Shelly added a whole another layer of like complexity to this book and without it it probably would have been like a two three star like it literally wouldn't have worked if that makes sense like Shelly was very pivotal to this whole story um there obviously was the animal cruelty but I on I don't think it was that bad to be honest um I understand like why it was in here it wasn't just in here for the point of it it was really trying to show characterization that the turtle the sea turtle I could have done without that um for real like it, it wasn't necessary to the plot, but it did build kind of character development, I guess. But I feel like that could have not been in here. But everything with, like, Shelly and the cat, I think, was kind of necessary to show how he actually was and show his personality and his serial killer tendencies. Or kind of, like, um, just, I don't want to call him a psychopath or diagnose him with antisocial personality disorder because, obviously... I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a psychologist, but it seems like he's leaning in that kind of 
area so it was really there to show his characterization and I really did enjoy the writing of this. I feel like th I liked the mixed media format but since it started so early it kind of made it less scary because we knew what they were up against. We knew like we saw the the trials of what actually happened it wasn't like it was unknown and I feel like the unknown aspect would have made it scarier so I feel like if it started like the halfway point or towards the very end it would have been better but I did just enjoy my time reading this so I gave it four stars so yeah those are all my thoughts I will link um everybody down below like who I mentioned in this video and I will also have links and everything for issues that I care about down below as well. And you can also follow me on my other social media if you guys want to talk. We can be friends. But that is all that I have for this video today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You always posting up pictures. Trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm